Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Today I received my first maker box. Uh, gonna open the box and go through the filaments I have got. I subscribe to the bi-monthly subscription because of shipping to Iceland is expensive and having just four samples shipped each month is it's very expensive if you have to pay shipping each time to Iceland. So getting eight samples uh, bi-monthly is, is cheaper on shipping. So that's what I subscribed for and I'm gonna open the box and have a look what I got. So this is, I'm opening, opening the box for the first time. Uh, here's a coupon code. Uh, I printed with pasta stickers, two stickers, uh, maker box uh, sticker, uh, and the first filament uh, is mold lay, uh, it is uh, great for making metal castings, uh, to melt out the wax and start your investment casting, uh, you print this uh, this is from lay filaments, lay filaments. Uh, you print this uh, rather cold, 170 to 210 degrees. And no heated bed uh, at a slow speed, 20 to 50 millimeters per second. And you don't need a, a harder nozzle for this one. I haven't seen this uh, company before, so it's nice to see something new. The next filament is is, is Alka filament uh, from Algix 3D. This is a PLA with uh, Algia uh, embedded in the in the plastic, so it should decompose quicker, I guess. This is also printed rather uh, cold, 175. Uh, to 190 uh, with a heated bed, uh, just normal print speeds 50 to 100 millimeters per second, and it's not abrasive. So, this I can use on my normal nozzle. Uh, the next one is Iron PLA from Proto Pasta. Uh, this one is, is uh, iron filled PLA that attracts magnets. Okay, that's cool. Uh, prints at 190 to 230. Uh, can use a heated bed, but doesn't necessarily need to. And uh, speeds are 30 to 60 millimeters per second. And this one is abrasive, so I guess I have to get a new uh, hardened nozzle. I had a hardened nozzle uh, clogged beyond repair with a copper fill filament. And I have to get a hardened nozzle for this one. Uh, next one is, is from Push Plastics. This one is carbon fiber ABS. Uh, this one prints at 230 to 240, so it's very specific temperature range with a bed temperature of 90 to 110 degrees and print speed is 30. Uh, to 60 millimeters per second and this is also is abrasive so you need a harder nozzle for this one uh, next one is uh, form futura crystal flex uh, it's a clear clear filament uh, print temp is quite hot uh, 230 to 260 degrees and uh, doesn't say about the bed temperature, but if it's a like a nylon filament or something, I guess it will use a heated bed and enclosure also. That's my guess. Uh, I have to look this up. Crystal Flex is the name name of it. Uh, next one is uh, also from Pus Push Plastics. Uh, PC plus uh, PPT. I have to look that up. I don't know what that is, <laughs> but it prints quite hot. Uh, 235 to 
degrees to 250 degrees uh, with a bed temperature of 100 to 125 so this probably uh, is a polycarbonate yeah a blend of polycarbonate and polybutylene terra pat oh i can't say this this is uh, polybutylene This is like for you guys trying to say Eyjafjallajökull for me to say this in English. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, something I have to try. It's non-abrasive, so I can use my normal nozzle for that. Would be a good. I will have to look up this uh, type of material to find the use case for this one. Whoa, this one. Protopasta. Joel telling. 3D printing nerd uh, metallic PLA high temperature PLA version 3 so this is the famous uh, famous filament everybody is posting pictures of online it's crazy good color it's like deep blue uh, with uh, some metallic shine to it it's really this one looks good uh, this one is uh, printing at uh, 200 to 220 degrees uh, bed temperature is 0 to 70 and speed is 30 to 50 millimeters and non-abrasive so this will work on my normal brass nozzle this one is great I actually have a uh, uh, package of this coming from Hawk 3D from the UK in the mail uh, that will arrive probably tomorrow but it's great to have this one. <laughs> um, um, here's a, a filament from 3D Fuel, uh, land filament, land filament. I hope it's not land fill. Uh, 3D print with hot garbage says. <laughs> land filament is a garbage-based PC, a 3D printing filament. Um, using uncycled munical solid waste mixed with PLA oh my god I don't know what this is uh, but this one prints at uh, 130 degrees no, 180 sorry 180 to 210 uh, with a heat heated bed to 0 to 45 so I guess uh, it's just normal PLA uh, settings and it's non-abrasive so this will be interesting I hope it doesn't smell too bad so here is a candy um, jelly bean jelly belly uh, and a magic goo uh, brochure uh, and a sample pack magic goo uh, I have to read if, if this is uh, good for my Prusa PI seat. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be used on that, but I will have to look it up. And so there are like three samples in here. So this was uh, the maker box I got now. Uh, I intend to uh, do an unpacking video like this for each box I get and uh, then I'm gonna do some test prints and hopefully do a, a video on, on some of the filaments uh, down the line I'm not gonna do the abrasive ones uh, for at least two weeks I um, don't have the, the hard nozzle needed for that one but uh, hopefully I'll be able to do some videos soon on some of those filaments I uh, really look forward to the, the Jotelling 3D printing knot filament. It's a great, <laughs> great to get that. So I'll, I'll probably try that first. So I think this will be this video, and uh, I'm gonna try out some filaments and uh, give you some results. Probably post some images on on Twitter. So if you follow me there, uh, you can. Uh, probably see some updates along the way. So for now, thank you for watching.